spending the rest of my life with the same one, same one. Ain't no I in team. I'ma bring you good love, just come with me. Baby, you're all the company. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am still your favorite girl, A. Marie. And today, I'm just putting on a little bit of lotion. We're going to get into all the tea. Everything that I will be using will be listed down below with direct links and coupons if I have any. I know y'all been wondering, like, where the hell has this girl been? Like, she just Finished. disappeared on us as well as uploaded videos here and there. We gonna get all into all of that, okay? Like, everything is about to be spilt. You're still rocking with me. Thank you so much. I love you all. If y'all don't know who I am, I am your favorite girl, A. Marie. And I also run a small business, A. M. B. Lavish. It comes from A. Marie Beauty Lavish you guys if you would like to support a small black owned business then the link will be down below with a youtube coupon code okay let's start with some products that i should have been reviewed on my channel i purchased this last year i want to say during 2020 <laughs> I want to say during 2020 um it's the color pop wild child collection yes the wild child collection had it for entirely too long i haven't reviewed it or anything i think i posted it on my on my beauty instagram i think that's about all i did with it okay so the box is really cute though i love the box that's why i kept it just to show you guys like super cute right all right we're gonna get right into it but before we get into it i would love for you guys to hit the subscribe button you don't have to click out the video or press pause just look right under the video the subscribe button is there once you click that the notification bell will pop up click on that set it to all and you will be notified every time i upload a video and don't forget to like and comment you guys i do want to go back to doing hashtag i do want to go back to hashtag notification on point so that you guys will be featured in the top three comments of the next video so give me a minute let me go cut my son pizza and we'll get right into it all right i'm back i hope i'm still in the same area let's get into it don't worry about my hair I have it laid down right now. Matter of fact, I could probably take it off. I still have kids at home. My oldest is at training right now, and my youngest is in there watching TV. He's watching um, Big Mama's House or whatever. Yeah, still a mama, still at home. Let's jump off into the tea. I am going to be using the Wild Child Collection. I'm going to use these Moda Metallic two-piece ultimate eyeshadow scope brushes i got these in a boxy charm i'm also going to be using the crown brushes this is a all eyes on you eye brush set it's a five piece lux eye brush set got it in a boxy charm um but like i said everything will be linked down below they look like this and then plus some of the other stuff i'm using is going to be basically like things from my collection I did do my eyebrows with the ABH Brow Wiz in Ebony. And I kind of color set them with this. I really don't know. I don't know where I had got it from. It's been a minute since I recorded a actual video. And this one is like a real, in real time video. This is going to be a premature YouTuber video. <laughs> like girl you're gonna tell that i haven't recorded in a while okay as i come back i'll get better because i'm about to break it down to you guys on everything that's been happening um, but like i said it's gonna be a real simple neutral color this is pretty colors and i know there was a lot of controversy around this wild child collection 
and I was going to talk all about it once I did the review, but your girl never did the review. 2019. No, was it 2020? COVID hit March 13th. March 13th, 2020 was my official last day of working. And if you guys have been rocking with me for a while, you guys know I was working for Red Lobster in my hometown. Even though I had moved to Houston, I was working in Baytown and Red Lobster closed. <laughs> Red Lobster closed and I know I always said that I wanted to be a stay-at-home mom and that's why you have to be careful what you ask God for because I want to try being a stay-at-home mom. I kept saying that for a while because Red Lobster, even though I love my job and I love my co-workers, Red Lobster itself was just like going down. So it was like just going down and I was there for five years. So it happened and I was not officially ready. And I'm not going to say I wasn't officially ready. I wasn't ready in the way that it came because the world shut down. Like I was a stay at home mom and the world shut down. That took a really big toll on me. I was stir crazy. Like I didn't know what i was gonna do i fear for my kids i fear for my wife because my wife was basically is basically a central worker i was just like what the world what is, what what is going on what happened like what happened to this world and it was weird it was very weird and at first i did not like it i hated it I didn't know what I was doing with myself. I didn't didn't understand what was going on in the world. I feared for my family and things like, it was just ridiculous. And I just couldn't take it. Once I started to get the hang of it, everything was scary at first. And I didn't want my kids to go nowhere. I barely wanted my wife to go out to work like sports stopped and everything like I, everybody's world just stopped but after so long i was like you know what i got it i'm gonna do it um i think you guys seen like a few videos of when the kids were back to virtually were back into school and they were virtual virtual kids um that's when youtube kind of stopped for me i didn't do like most people did like when the pandemic hit some people took advantage of it and blew up on youtube i missed my time slot if you get what i mean but my thing was with that um how can i say it i wasn't doing many active things like as in traveling or you know out and about shopping at Fendi or Chanel or the regular YouTuber things before the pandemic so in my mind I was kind of like how the hell do I get y'all more interested during the pandemic I should have kind of like recorded my journey of like transitioning into a at home mom but none of that came to mind when when that was transitioning if you get what i mean my oldest did good he is a quick learner but my youngest he's like hands-on learning so it was just like very weird very hard very stressful youtube became like a back burner for me like i was not focused on youtube i was too busy trying to make sure my kids weren't failing or falling behind type of thing so my youngest told me like mom i need to go back face to face i'm not learning i'm not getting it i don't understand but I was super freaking scared and I had to put a lot of my faith in God because I was so scared for my kid to go back. But he went back, never caught anything, thank God. After that, my oldest son was like, well, if he gets to go to school, can I go to school? So now I got to let him go back to school. 
and thank god once again nothing happened to either one of them i thank the good lord when i was at home by myself you guys i really cooked clean washed clothes and was back like i would drop my kids off at seven my youngest got out at three but the car line was ridiculous so i would go back to the school and sit in the car line at 1 30 pick him up for three and then shoot over to my other kid's school which he got out at four so i will leave the elementary go get my middle schooler at four and then come back home so the only time throughout the day i had was from basically eight to one and in my mind between cooking cleaning I couldn't I couldn't fit the YouTube in I couldn't fit it I couldn't do it and about time because I was so new to being an at-home mom by the time they came home it was feed them excuse me it was feed them spend time with them go to bed quitting YouTube just became more and more real for me like and then with everything that happened, I was like, you know what? I've always wanted to start my own business. Let me get into that since I didn't know how long I was gonna be without a job. I didn't know how long this pandemic crap was gonna be. Bought a whole bunch of lashes and really didn't do my research, you guys. I am gonna do a one year business update video that is on the list to do to let you guys know all the freaking mistakes i made and tell y'all how you know i feel like i did wrong but rushed into the business and boom june 1st i opened my business dead ass wrong okay <laughs> dead ass wrong it didn't go as I thought and I don't know why I thought it was gonna be like a banger I did not do any marketing research I didn't do like I didn't hype nobody up for my business none of that I didn't do I did all the wrong things all the wrong things and it was stupid and then I got depressed I, well, I don't want to say depressed. I got down about that because my wife said I went through depression a couple of times throughout this whole journey, but I don't know what depression feels like, but I was unmotivated. I went into a real deep funk. I didn't want to work on business. I didn't want to work on YouTube. I didn't want to do anything. Pouring the little money that I was making and getting into my business even though that did work but i don't know if i got foundation everywhere i did i was pouring more and more money into my business and buying a lot of makeup for youtube but i wasn't marketing my business right and i was buying all this makeup and wasn't doing anything with it and i think the makeup was like trying to make me feel better i think that's what i was doing it wasn't making me feel better because i wasn't doing videos now don't get me wrong i missed youtube like hell i miss youtube like hell or missed and kept saying like okay i'm gonna get up in the morning and i'm gonna film I won't clean today I'm gonna film okay I'm gonna clean up at night so that I won't have anything to clean up in the morning and I'm just gonna film until it's time to get the boys you guys you don't know how many nights I did that and stayed right there in bed all day long watching other small businesses like do the damn thing and then I found myself like my stuff look better I, I i got myself into comparison mode let's just say that i won't tell y'all exactly what the thoughts was but once i became angry i shut down
it just like it started taking a toll on me i was angry every day i was unmotivated every day real salty my best foot forward and i know i didn't market the right way and all the hype up and build the suspense and all that i know i didn't do none of that but ever since i opened my business i've learned from my mistakes and tried more and more and more and more and more and more and the one thing i don't like is when i feel like i'm giving my all to something and it doesn't pay off the way i want it pisses me off and it feels like it makes me feel like i'm a failure the only good thing that i could say about when i opened my business my sister started a business that she's been wanting to start my niece finally started her business my brother started his business like me starting my business and jumping out there in my sister's words is like according to my sister when i started my business it kind of gave everybody a boost to start theirs like in my mind everybody else's business has been going better than mine and i'm not gonna say i got angry with them but it was just like fuck what am i doing wrong what what am i not i hate when i feel like i'm missing something and i can't figure out what it is i'm missing um, my sister has a t-shirt printing business my brother has a dog business my niece has her own lip gloss business line and my mom even has ventured out into her business my mom is like she decorates parties weddings baby showers and all that but she also has ventured out into she does cups tumblers um rolling trays tables like my mom does it all okay she does it all as well so everybody running a business everybody is black owned business in my family my wife is the she is the graphic designer like she's been doing graphic designs for my brother and my sister and my mom but for some reason i feel like mine is not going as good as everybody else's and Put me into a deeper funk at first it was exciting at first i just loved putting things together and let's be clear everything that's in my shop like nobody was buying on my website nobody was buying but yet i was still like okay let me get these onesies because people are wearing onesies let me get these booty shorts because people are wearing booty shorts let me get these sunglasses because people are wearing something like every single time i brought something new and it wasn't moving i was like okay maybe i need to try this okay maybe i need to try this i am gonna smoke i film in my garage okay i did sales all the time i'm in this facebook group where it's a whole bunch of black owners and we do these collab sales we mark things down we give out a discount code we promote each other we collab in different sales i was part of a very small group that every time we did this collab we never got sales every time the collab came i supported the other businesses in hopes that other businesses may support me i'm a sticker freak i'm a planner freak i am low-key a planner girl so a lot of the shops i shop were planner related but i don't think they were beauty related like i don't think they were beauty lovers like and then i got to the point where i was like it's my products it's me i'm not popular enough i'm not i'm not in real life the favorite girl and i think that a lot like when it comes down to my youtube and stuff i'm like okay i'm not getting views and stuff because i'm not the popular girl i'm not the popular melanin girl that people love to see you know like i get down on myself real real bad but i can't say i do get jealous because some people i'm just like i get real jealous because it's like they have over 10k views on a look that i know i could do 
and then I do it and then I get a hundred views of uh, excitement to you guys during the pandemic when I really wasn't going nowhere. I really wasn't doing anything. My life was all about the sports and my kids and that's basically all we did. I don't have friends. Nothing about my life was exciting. So I didn't know how to make it exciting for you guys without trying to keep up with the Joneses and go broke, if you get what I mean. Yes, I used to bring all kind of things to my channel as in planner related, home related, vlogs, cleaning, stuff like that. But none of my videos pop. Even though I miss being on camera because that's one thing I think I've always loved was being on camera. I love that shit. I wasn't getting the positive response I was looking for. I've been on YouTube, I wanna say six years now, and that's six years. And I know a lot of people say, don't compare yourself, blah, blah, blah. I'm human. This lip gloss, by the way, is now available on my website, Clear Lip Gloss. So Honey Lip Gloss, Clear Lip Gloss, it's available on my site now. I do make my own lip glosses, but I started bringing in some of those. I would like to be, I would have loved to be a little bit more open with you guys about like, let's say like my marriage and the, the my marriage, my kids, my personal, personal life. But the thing about that is the type of family and the type of wife I have and things like that, the active people that are in my life, I think they will feel some type of way about it. So I choose to keep the real personal to a minimum when it comes to YouTube because me personally, I think they will feel some type of way. I don't know where I was at with it, but my son opened a garage and now there's a fly in here. Oh my God, that is gonna irritate me. I don't really remember what I was telling y'all before I left. I know when I go to edit this video, I'm gonna be like, damn, it was more. <laughs> it was more to whatever I was saying. But, and I wish you guys could talk to me and tell me. Every week, I'm like ready to throw all of my products away. I'm ready to throw all my makeup away, throw all my YouTube stuff away, but kick everything that I love to the curb. Like, I love my business. I love that I even tried to start. And I know they say the first year is always hard. We'll try this. Um, I know they say like the first year is always hard, but it's harder than, oh, that is like a shimmery bronzer-ish. The first year for my business has been really hard. I'm a little out of a year. Mm, it's still a struggle. It's still a struggle. So like right now, everything on my website is marked down because I want to try to rebrand again for like the fourth, fifth time. I want to try it again. While I was down in my funk, like my real funk, 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 I was supporting a lot, a lot of black owned businesses. Let me not even say black owned because I was supporting a lot of small businesses. It wasn't just black owned. And I came across these weight gain pills. You guys know I struggle with my weight. I'm gonna use my lashes in Virgin Island. And this was the second or third company that sells weight gain products. The first ones, um, my body didn't react to them, so I had diarrhea real bad. And the company told me that that's not what the product is supposed to do, so the company told me to stop taking them. And they refunded me my money and everything. And then another mm -hmm. company mm -hmm. I came across, mm -hmm. I didn't see no results. So it was, this was the third company and oh one of the companies no i never did upload that video 
I did a video on it and never uploaded it. But I started taking these weight gain pills and I don't know if you guys could tell because I could tell all in my face and everything. Y'all see I don't even have my wedding ring on. Gained the weight that I wanted to plus belly that I didn't want. I have a pregnant belly now and I gained so much weight. I'm at 170 now and I started like at 110. Um, My wedding ring, it got stuck on my finger and it was cutting off circulation so we had to pry it off and I haven't been able to put it back on it was the weight that I wanted to gain but I should have been working out the weight went everywhere that I didn't want it to go which was my belly but I want to rebrand again for like the fourth fifth time and I would get some more lashes that are like everyday wear like this but let me show you guys these lashes like all these lashes are new lashes i just absolutely love them look at them do y'all see how fluffy that is let me look at them lashes but look at how fluffy they are. Look at that. And you see how thin the band is? The band is real thin. And I did use my lash applicator and be lavish printed on the applicator. And you guys know I like the angle applicators. <laughs> I do have these applicators too that come with my lash book, but I personally don't use them. They're just the curved ones. I just personally don't use them because I'm a big fan of these, that L curve. Pink applicator comes in my lash book, comes like this and three lashes. The thing is you could choose your three styles that you want to come in this lash book i really like i just don't think i'm marketing right and i don't really understand marketing i thought about going to school since i'm sitting at home doing nothing i thought about going to school for marketing business marketing but i don't know no online school so i am gonna go with my gerard cosmetics mud slide lip liner you guys can use my coupon code down below i am on the pr for them thank god i'm still on the pr for them i want to get on more prs and get popping more but i'm feeling like i'm having to do double of working hard with as hard as I work I'm gonna mix in a little bit of my Gerard Cosmetics underground lip liner it's just a little darker I wish I had an assistant or a manager or something but them things cost and I don't I don't see the revenue back I get a YouTube check like every six months but it'll be it'll be a while before I can pay somebody but I need like some type of help my family is like oh you know how to this one is brat pack my family is like oh you can run our social medias for us since we're not social media heads i'm gonna go with this one um or you know you could do different stuff for us since you already do it oh and i didn't tell y'all i was cleaning up the garage one day you know i haven't been doing youtube like talking about but I was cleaning up the closet, uh, the garage one day, and I was like, let me just straighten up my beauty area just to make myself feel a little better. Y'all, I told y'all I gained all this damn weight. I got an ass now, but I got a belly too. I bent over to throw something away underneath my beauty table, and my ass knocked over my ring light with my camera on it and everything ring light shattered and y'all know i had that ring light for like maybe four years ring light shattered thank god this camera didn't break in my mind i was like what the fuck did i just do like 
Are you kidding me? I can't just jump up and buy another ring light. I'm not making money from my YouTube. I basically stopped YouTube. I'm not making money from my business. And I got kids. Like, I can't just be like, oh, well, get another one. Like, <laughs> it just did not go that way. And I was like, son's a bitch. And it was right when I was like, kind of feeling like, y'all, I'm taking old behave. Uh, it was kind of like when I was feeling like I wanted to get back into youtube like let me just do something with myself because i have been around here for damn near a year not looking and feeling like myself i was like i want to get back into youtube let's do something and this and that and i was like you know what let me clean this stuff up and i was cleaning up trying to get back into the swing of things my ass knocked over the whole ring light bus broke and it was a mess so that put me in a even worse mood i wasn't mad that i broke it i was just like well damn now i'm really not gonna get back into youtube i'm not really gonna make my comeback i saved up me a little bit of money and it's very 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 hard for me to save money um but i saved me up some money i found the ring light i wanted off amazon and when I saved the money, I was like, boom, I'm going to get it. And honestly, it came yesterday from the day I'm filming. And you guys know I did that massive drugstore haul. Um, I still have all that that I haven't played with. Why was I continuing to buy makeup, continue my subscriptions, and not coming on YouTube? Because your girl was so-called depressed. And didn't know what to do with my life. Didn't feel like I was accomplishing anything. I felt like a failure. I, I feel like I let my mom down. <laughs> God bless the truth. I feel like I let my mom down. I feel like I let my wife down. I feel like I let my kids down. I feel like I let my family down because nothing that I have been really passionate about have I... Y'all seen that motherfucker? The things that I'm passionate about, I accomplished. And there's been many things in my life that I've been very passionate about and really good at. And to me, I don't feel like I accomplished anything. Even at the age I am, even where I stand at in life, I don't feel like I accomplished anything. I'm very passionate about my YouTube. I'm very passionate about my business but i feel like i'm not accomplishing anything i was real passionate about dancing and after i had my first child i just completely stopped so i felt like i didn't accomplish anything you know what i'm saying like i know how to do hair i went to cosmetology school and did not finish so i didn't accomplish that like i just i feel like i fell at everything I put my hands on and is not a good feeling. But I can say that I miss the fuck out of being right here. This area, this corner, I miss it. You guys don't see the behind the scenes. Inside of my garage is hot AF or it could be cold AF. I live in an apartment complex, I stay downstairs. So I have to try to get in when kids are not outside. I brought a fan in here now. Like I do a lot to make these videos happen and when they don't take off like I want, it just makes me fall 10 steps back into my feelings. It's been almost a year, but I'm here, I'm back. I would just love for you guys to hit the subscribe button, click the notification, like this video, comment something down below. How, what, what did you get from this video? I mean, like, let's get the discussion going. I am gonna go off, and I think it's this one. Amazon sent me a wig, it's a headband wig. Um, you know what? I'm not doing a two part video. Let's just. This video may be long, but let's just go ahead and do it. Um, it says the best design, the best for you. And this is from the company B, no, Jesus, 
Beyond Beauty Long Body Wave. Long Body Wavy. And it's in 1B. Beyond Beauty Long Body Wavy. I'm going to link it down below. It's from Amazon. And yeah. Let's just go ahead and test this bad boy out. They came. It came with a hair cap. Very affordable too. Amazon signed it over. They give you one little headband and it's cute. I don't think it's going to match today, but it's cute. They reached out to me and I've been having their wig forever because your girl just wouldn't get on the camera. A lot of people are like, girl, we are going to cut you off. We're going to be done with you. And I was like, no, please, no, 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 no. I just, I've been, I've been sick. I've been not feeling good. But this is what the hair looks like. So pretty and wavy. Comes with a black band. It is a headband wig. Got two combs in the front and one in the back with adjustable Velcro. So let's try to do this. Y'all don't talk about me. But that was the reason why I braided my hair down is because I knew I wanted to at least try this wig on and yes i'm not trying to raise up my arms because my armpits are not shaved i'm telling y'all this is the realest we're gonna get I'm gonna velcro it oh and it fits tight and i didn't even put the combs in or anything this is cute it is a synthetic wig let me stand up and show you guys don't talk about my little fat rolls neither she comes right to the middle of my back. This is a good wig to throw on when you need to run to the store. She's tight, you guys, and I like that. She is real tight. I will leave a link down below if you would like to order you one, get you one. Um, I do get a little small kickback from Amazon using my Amazon affiliate link. So if you don't mind helping your girl out, purchase through that affiliate link that I'm going to give you. If not, just go to Amazon and search this wig. So this is a head a headband wig, 16 inch glueless headband wig. Oh, it's like a high temperature synthetic fiber fiber long wavy machine ready oh machine made y'all don't oh lace front no lace front with this headband is natural and it's 16 inches you guys and she basically look like this on the mannequin and of course with the headband wigs you're supposed to be able to wear it up down and all that good stuff constructed like that now, the one thing I can tell you that I do love about this headband wig, I don't have the combs in, and it is, like, secured just by this elastic band thing right here. It is secured. It's not thick like I would like it, like the density in it is not that thick. Let me see. Can you guys see the back? It's going to be good for you to run out. You can flip it halfway and put a headband or one of these on. That doesn't match what I got going on. That's why I decided to leave the black. I think it's really cute. You'll be able to throw this on and go somewhere for the day. Don't wear this too often because it is synthetic. So it will get tangly and you know wear down the great thing about headband wigs you can take them off and put them back in the packaging and then pull it right back out again tomorrow i have the rhinestone headbands the velvet ones as well and that will go great over this as well um so thank you amazon for sending me over this headband wig sorry it took so long but your girl is back and better than ever so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video hopefully y'all understand where i was coming from in this video and i hope i gave y'all all the tea that you needed 
I don't know how long I'm staying, but I'm back, okay? All of the products that I use today will be down below in the description box with coupon codes or direct and or direct links to where you can purchase all this from. Thank y'all so much for watching and I will catch y'all in the next one. Deuces. Trying to spend the rest of my life with my day one.